Australia's electric car sales race has seriously, seriously heated up recently. It's hit a near record high of 9.4%. And in other words, one in every 10 cars sold in Australia in May was fully electric, not a hybrid, but fully electric. A lot of this is, of course, due to the fact that the Tesla Model Y has now finally gone on sale properly here in Australia. In fact, the Model Y was one of the best-selling cars in the country overall, period. But it's also due to the fact that there's actually 94 different electric cars you can buy in Australia. Let's have a look at what the some of what they are. In fact, let's have a look at those 94 different models. And I'm going to pick my eight personal favorite from that list. I have some favorites for good reason. I've driven a lot of these cars. Uh, I know the technology and you know pretty much all of them, the pricing, Based on those, those details, here are my favorites, but here are the top 10 best-selling cars in Australia so far as well this year. Australia's top 10 best-selling EVs. One of them's going to surprise you. It's overtaken Tesla and it's overtaken BYD and it's not a Tesla or a BYD. Anyway, hello my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. First of all, let's have a look at the 10 best-selling EVs in Australia this year. Number one is the Tesla Model Y. The Tesla Model Y was not even not even the top three, not, not even the top five, in fact, in April. But in May, it was by far the best-selling EV in Australia by a mile, with 3,580 deliveries, meaning nearly 7,000 have been delivered so far this year, which is more than double the second placed Tesla Model 3 with 2,583 sales. Next, the Kia EV5, 2,212. I've got to say, guys, if you're going to buy a Kia EV5, test drive some other cars first. Test drive the Model Y. Test drive the Xpeng G6. Test drive the BYD C Line 7. Test drive the Hyundai Ioniq 5. Test drive the Geely EX5. All of those cars are either better cars or better value for money than the Kia EV5, which is extremely inefficient, and I just don't understand why it's selling so well. Hey, don't get me wrong, if you're going to buy a Kia, if you're a Kia brand fan, and you're going to go, go to a Kia dealership, and you're dead set you want a Kia, the Kia EV5 is a good car. But if you're not a brand fan, then those other cars are better options. Fourth place, the MG4, 2017 sales. Fifth, the BBD C Line 7. 1,961, very close race between the C-Line and the MG4. Build it at a three next with 1,278 sales. Uh, interestingly, the Geely EX5 though has outsold the Addo 3 for the last two months. And the Geely EX5 is definitely a better car for the money than the Build it Addo 3. When it comes to Build it models on sale, I think the Build it Shark and the Build it Dolphin a fantastic value for money. The Build Auto 3, though, doesn't really stack up against the Geely EX5. Next is the Build Seal with 982 deliveries. MG ZS EV has 959, very close between the Seal and the MG ZS EV, but the MG ZS EV has now been discontinued. It's an old model. They've got a new, uh, I guess you could call it a small to mid sized electric SUV that's just arrived in Australia. We'll get to that in a second. That was followed by the Kia EV3. Then you've got the BYD Dolphin, BMW iX1, Volvo EX30, 559 sales, Polestar 4, BMW i4, BMW iX2, Audi Q4 e-tron, Mercedes-Benz EQA, Mercedes-Benz EQE, Toyota BZ4X, Hyundai Ioniq 5, Cherry E5, Cooper Born, Mercedes-Benz EQB, and in 25th place, the Zika X. The Zika X for me is a bit of a surprising one considering it's much cheaper than the Volvo EX30. It's built on the exact same production line. Exactly, I've seen it in person with my own eyes. And it's bigger and more luxurious than the, than the uh, Volvo EX30. So I'm a bit miffed as to why, why the EX30 has twice as many sales as the Zika X. Now guys, I've heard there's a software issue with the Zika X currently. People had some issues with that, but I'm I'm also confident that I've heard from Zika that they're going to work and fix that software issue. So looking at the worst selling EVs in Australia, kind of interesting to see what they are. Xpeng G6. Now it's not the worst. Xpeng just haven't revealed their sales numbers yet. I've been told that they will pretty soon. 
Smart, hashtag three or smart number three and smart one, they also haven't released their sales yet. So they're not on zero. They have released, they have sold more than that. The worst selling car EVs are the Cadillac Lyric, zero. The Fiat 500e, zero. Fiat Abarth 500e, zero. Ford e-Transit, zero. LDV e-Deliver, seven, zero. The Lexus UX, zero. Mercedes-Benz EQC, uh, that car, I mean, those cars I just mentioned, they've been discontinued in Australia. The Cadillac Lyric is a new car, so not sure on that one. But we do know the Mercedes-Benz EQC has been on sale all year, uh, every month of the year, and they've sold zero, none. The Mercedes-Benz EQS, one. So the Mercedes-Benz EQS and the EQE have sold one between them for the entire year, for five months. Yeah, that's... um. That's a pretty big disappointment. That's followed by another disappointment, which is the Genesis Electrified G80 with a total of two, the Skoda Elrock with two as well. And then look guys, the Jaguar I-Pace, they sold three of them. I mean, this is the most fire prone EV in the history of EVs. And EVs are very not fire prone. They're very, very safe. The fact is EVs, uh, way 10 times less likely to catch on fire than an internal combustion car. That's even for new cars. But the Jaguar I-Pace is not. It is a major lemon. Anyhow, those are the sales figures so far for the year. And when it comes to the month, I think it's also interesting that top 10 best sellers for the month were the Tesla Model Y, 3,580, Kia EV5, 703, the Geely EX5, 511, BUD Sea Lion 7, 488, the BUD Seal 355, the Dolphin 345, BUD Addo 3, 322. So lots of BUDs here. That's four BUDs in a row. Uh, the MG4 319, the Tesla Model 3, surprisingly low. And interesting to see the BUD Seal outsell the Tesla Model 3. Kia EV3 next with 310. MG ZSEV discontinued, 136. The Polestar 4, 133. The MG S5, which is uh, basically the replacement for the MG ZSEV with 106. And the Hyundai Insta with 101. So those are the top 10 for the month of May. Now I'm going to get to guys and just have a quick look. I'll tell you what my favorite of all these 96 different electric cars or 95 that you can buy in Australia, what are my eight favorite models? First of all, yeah, I'm a big fan of the Tesla Model Y. It's a good car. You can see why so many thousands of people have purchased one. Secondly, the car that I bought and that I own, which I think is pretty similar to a Model Y in many ways, it has more range though for the price and it has faster charging for the price and it has a screen right in front of the driver uh, it's, I think it's still better value than the Model Y, the XPeng G6 I'm referring to, of course. In well, my next car that I'd pick or that I'd love in my, this is my virtual garage, like Gran Turismo, right? I've got a virtual garage. If I won the lottery, what were my eight EVs I'd get? Those are the two, Model Y and the G6. Next, in terms of value for money, the Geely EX5. It is one of the best value for money EVs that's ever existed. Followed by the BYD Dolphin. The Dolphin is great value for money. Um, it's basically the cheapest EV in Australia, and it's not the worst. It's, in fact, not a bad car at all. It's a fantastic car. My next choice would be the Zika 009. Now, I'd also love an Xpeng X9, but they're not available yet in Australia. So the Zika 009, it's a bit out of my price range, but it's a phenomenal car, and that would be an awesome family car to have. Another car I really love, and I, I think it's actually better than people realize, is the Polestar 3. It's, yeah, not once again, not really in my price range, but the Polestar 3 is phenomenal, and I think it outdoes its German rivals. Anyway, final car in the list. What are we going to go with for our final vehicle? I'm going to have to go with the, um, the MG Cyberstar. To be honest, guys, I'm not a huge fan of MG um, in Australia. The, the company in Australia, my experience with them hasn't been amazing. They're all right, but the cars are, are pretty good, let's be honest. The MG Cyberstar, it's the only convertible you can buy, the only electric convertible you can currently buy in Australia and in most countries around the world, in fact, 
And it's not the only one because it's it's not the default, hey, it's the only one you can buy and it's not very good. It's actually pretty good. So I'd love to own one of those. Anyway, those are my top eight. The Tesla Model Y, Xpeng G6, Geely EX5, BYD Dolphin, Zika 009. Then, of course, you've got the MG Cyberstar, the Polestar 3, and, and I'm just going to put in my favorite EV in the world right now, even though I haven't driven it, which is the new Xpeng P7 Ultra, that crazy looking uh, five seat coupe. I think it looks unbelievable. By the way, I have a new video up on the channel about that car, carbon fiber, crazy technology, and um, actually a pretty good price. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description. Guys, thanks for your support. It's been an amazing year, a tough year for me personally, uh, for the family. It's been a bit of a crazy week, been in hospital a couple of times, spent the night in hospital on Saturday night. So, so tired. So I apologize if I'm looking tired. My videos had this virus illness as well. It's just been a really challenging time. So I just want to say thank you for sticking with us. Looking forward to seeing you at the Noosa EV show and the Melbourne EV show. And also in Bali, I'll be at the Bali uh, EV show or the Bali EV conference, I should say, giving a speech there. If you want to come to that conference, you certainly can as well. You're welcome to. I'll put links in the description. Have a good day. Bye-bye.